Hey guys, I got a treat for you. I'm meeting with Sean Hoover, owner of Gars Transmissions in Paso Robles, California. He's been building this Scout for, I'm guessing, uh, a year, maybe over a year. Anyways, we're going to do a walk around with him, and uh, this thing's pretty incredible. I remember when he first towed it over here, and it was, uh, you know, <laughs> it was pretty haggard. So, um... It's not quite done yet. I'm guessing it's 75%, but I'll let him tell you about it. Anyways, enjoy. We're at Sean's shop, Paso Robles, California. This is Sean. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Good. Thanks for having me, and I really want to uh, show everybody what the hell you've been doing on this Scout. It's pretty awesome. So I'm just going to let you take it from here, buddy. So, yeah. So we bought this thing out of Bakersfield, California from just a private owner. Um, paid um, next to nothing for it. It was kind of a barn find, didn't run, had all the stock original International Scout parts in it, including the engine. Uh, um, tore all those things out, cleaned it up as best we could as far as running gear and stuff like that, the frame and everything. And then decided to go LS because of simplicity. Um, <clears throat> so, what we did is we found an 03 Chevy half ton four wheel drive engine transmission. And so we took the 5.3 liter out of the truck, got the wiring harness, the, um, the computer, the trans, everything. And uh, went through, cleaned it up really well. It was kind of a, a, a muddy mess. I think it had about 130,000 miles on it. But we, you know, plugs, wires, all the, the typical small tune-up things you could do to, <clears throat> to make it what it is. Um, oil pan gasket, new starter, put headers on it. Um, didn't do a whole lot much more than that, really. Um, and then got some new motor mounts that fit it really well, put it in here. Did on the custom fabrication myself, except for suspension, plasma cut parts and stuff. I don't have a plasma cut table here. Um, a buddy of mine, Blaine Davis, and another buddy, Jason Ratzlaff, and another buddy, um, Travis, at Custom Works here in Paso Robles, California, has really helped me out big time, too, as well. Um, and I'll walk you through some of the pieces that we've done that he's, that he's cut for me on this plasma table. He's an amazing fabricator. But so anyways, we, we, so we put the motor trans in it. I got an advanced adapters Atlas II transfer case in it. Um, I pulled the front and rear axle out of a, uh, the front axle is out of a 79, I believe, um, one ton Ford, it's a Dana 60 high pinion. Uh, we put 488 Yukon gears in it uh, with, a, with a Grizzly locker in it, uh, or a zip locker, I think, and uh, so we did that, we, we, we three linked the front. Uh, we put Fox two and a half by 16 coilovers on the front. Uh, we had Hal do all the steering. Hal has uh, completely went through all of our steering, completely rebuilt the steering box. Uh, gave us a new P-pump, which isn't installed yet. We're still in the process of getting some things done. This rig is not complete by any means. Um, so we got a lot to do there, but uh, so that, and then, um, so the other things, uh, the drive shafts are done by Tom Woods drive shaft. Those are custom made uh, 1350U joints, um, constant velocities on both ends, and a double carton, I guess you could say. Um, and then uh, the rest of the stuff, like the tubes around the fender wells, we cut the, we cut the fender wells out so we can clear these 39s. Uh, Baja TAs, which were kind of donors off of uh, a 1000 truck. These are just kind of something to get it on its wheels and make it run. Uh, we did that, and then we did uh, rock sliders uh, that I just used some square tubing for that we're not done yet fabricating completely again. And then uh, we've used Corbu seats inside the cab, which is not done yet either. We're still in the process. I built my own custom instrument cluster. Uh, center consoles out of an 18 GMC Duramax. Um, still got to mount the trans shifter. We got the double Atlas two shifter shifters uh, for uh, transfer case shifters coming up through there. And then um, 
built cage. Cage isn't, cage isn't yet completely welded yet. Uh, put the little small bench seat in the back for kids and buddies. Um, and then, so the rear is four linked. Um, I think we used a quarter wall tubing on this, uh, but we did a 14 bolt, uh, one ton. This came out of a 73 Chevy four wheel drive. And we put uh, 488 Yukon gears in it with a Grizzly locker. And uh, this here is, like I said, buddy of mine, Travis at Custom Works in Paso Robles, uh, made me this tank. This is a, a custom, this is a skid plate he made custom for my gas tank that he built out of aluminum. Um, it says, that 70 dream still lives on. And uh, that's, that's on there because I had a, another 70 Chevy pickup and he thought it was clever to put that on there. So it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, down wow. here, um, yeah, we got a lot, of, a lot of welding, a lot of fabrication, a lot of crazy stuff going on. It's almost done. Um, rear disc, uh, you know, the back, just because I feel like drum was horrible. So we, we did the rear disc conversion on it. I haven't yet put the springs and got the rear finaled, so everything's tacked in place in the rear. Um, we're gonna later uh, put a brake light in this, behind this, um, our skid plate here for the gas tank so that the brake light shines. Um, my business is Gar's Transmission. And uh, so this will be our brake light that comes through there. Actually, it'll be a running light, so you'll be able to see it as it's running. And then um, we did something real simple with the rear bumper. We just did a square, two by four square tubing. And then I welded in some big D rings and put a nice step and um, found some parts online for um, the tire swing. So that unlocks and swings out and it, and it locks and holds itself in place. Um, this is just a, a typical trailer axle spindle. But you, um, this is a really cool piece for anybody that's building a tire swing. Um, it's spring loaded, and it, if you lock it in, it goes in, locks, and it's like the, the tire swing is completely locked. And I've had a 39 inch tire on here, and it doesn't, it doesn't bow, it doesn't move at all. It's good. Nice. Um, Cut these original Scout lights out, took the center out of them, put LEDs in them, mounted those in there. Haven't wired anything yet, so I can't show you the lights, but uh, that and then... Um, How long did it take you guys to do this tubing? Each one of those things, because I'm probably not the crazy good person at the... Uh, again, Travis at Custom Works in Paso Robles, California helped me with a tube bender that he was unfamiliar with for one and two, I'm not a tubing bend guy at all, um, but the two of us together, it took us uh, a couple hours per wheel well, so. So now, did you cut your wheel well and then we you cut the hit it behind this? We cut the wheel well um, after setting the tubing up there and designing how the tubing would be because it's probably harder to bend tubing in the place where you really want it versus cutting the sheet you can put sheet metal anywhere you want it you just cut the sheet metal and, and so it's not a big deal but um so we, we basically bent these up to where we thought would clear the tires and we had this wheel well sticking way down here which we cut probably seven inches out of this i think and so you can imagine it was all the way down there so we had this big bold beautiful international scout body line which we had to get rid of because these monstrous tires and we want to go over rocks and play so we had to cut it out but we put these in there tacked them in place and then cut the existing wheel well out and then tacked it all in here for now and then I'll put some bracing in later. Um, so yeah, that's really about it until we get further. Um, it's is, not... Um, is this the original color? So yeah, this is all patina, just original 19... In, in, this is a 1970 International Scout 800A. So this is the original paint. Which I was actually pretty impressed. This thing is actually pretty straight. Some of you scout lovers out there might think I'm absolutely crazy for, you know, taking this thing out and doing what I'm going to do with it. But uh, I'm actually going to probably try to take care of this one and not beat it up super bad. But um, yeah, we'll we'll do what we can with this paint and make it look cool for what it is. So this um, is the original grill. 
This is the original grill. This is an original 800A grill, which I hear are insanely expensive. Um, and then this is original as well, and then you just upgraded your I upgraded light. my lights, yeah. So this is these bezels are all original. Everything, the, the entire rig from start to, when I bought it, it was completely like the hard top sitting out here on the ground. I don't know if you want to get a photo of that. Um, the hard top, that's, that's an original, everything's there. Like the, the glass, I have all the glass, everything. So I want to put the, I want to put new weather stripping in the glass and put it back in there. And you know, of course, paint the top, make the top really nice. Keep the spotlight. I'm I not. Hope. I'm not gonna keep the. I'm not gonna leave the top patina. I'm actually gonna paint the the the, the top. Mm -hmm. I'll probably paint the top black, maybe. Um, yeah, probably not, nice. probably not the greatest color. It'll look nice. Probably not the greatest color for heat, but. Now, how's your? Um, how are you geared? So right now it's 488 gears, front and rear, um, and then the the transfer case is a 4-3 to one ratio. So the I got the Atlas II 4-3 to one ratio with the 4L 60E uh, transmission that we built at our shop, um, and I, that thing's got all the billet input shaft, and it's got the smart shell, and the, um, you know you can go on Sonex dot com and look at some of their parts that they build for that transmission and um it's got all the bells and whistles in there so it's a very the, the transmission itself has got about you know if you were to pay full retail for one of those it would probably be about a five thousand dollar transmission um, so the and if the, somebody came to you at gars and said hey i'm building this rock crawler i want a tranny just like your setup would you be able to do that for if you? yes absolutely and if you look at some of the prices on uh sonex website you'll see what um you know we're just listings here and there it's really hard to get solid pricing without going through a, a trustworthy transmission shop on some of that stuff but if you look at the pricing on some of that stuff, you'll know why guys are asking what they're asking for transmission uh, components or rebuilds, because it's just truly, you know, amazing on what they're actually doing with the parts to make them as strong as they are. So it's gotcha. worth, worth every penny. If you want to make one strong and you want to make a 4L60 hold up to 39 inch tires, you have to spend the money and you have to put them you have to put the time and effort into it to make it right because this thing here will withstand all the abuse that this motor and this and these tires and gears and everything else that we're going to put it through is going to is going to going to going to give it so. can we lift it up and see yeah. underneath i'm getting old i can't be see the drive lines right perfectly in line with the lower links uh, thus if you get a shot on this angle okay everything we actually have um, Blaine at dirt designs in Atascadero if you look at the angle of this and look at the shaft I mean everything he has done this drive line at full droop and full bump I think only plunges like a quarter of an inch half of an inch maybe I might even be lying but it's somewhere close to that and the rear I think is an inch because of some you know we, we had no choice but the rear is and that's 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 16 inches of wheel travel full droop to bump and um, the thing is just cycling perfectly and advanced adapters that's here in Paso right yep that's in Paso Robles California and yeah, those are those are popular enough to not have to explain. Those are those are those are everywhere. But yeah, no, it's been a cool project, and we hope to have it at Hammers this year, or actually, I should say next year. It's going to be 2020, right? So yeah, that's February you can do it this year. Oh yeah, so, you're right. Got it. Yeah, Got it'll be that. 2020. So yeah, we'll be there in February with this thing. I hope so. Now, what do you have right up that's here? That's a Drell trans cooler. So that's just a closed in, boxed in, just to give it extra 
help to push push wind through the cooler but this is a Durrell uh, external trans cooler and then I've got it ran down the frame rails to the trans that's that's really the only trans cooler I'll need on this thing it's not like we're we're racing Baja 1000 where we're gonna be pushing that transmission to its very limits all the time we're just gotcha. we're just gonna go play on some rocks and have some fun now how many horsepower is this motor uh, I'm not exactly sure what a 5.3 puts out stock, but the, right now this motor's stock. It's just got headers on it. We're just going to tune it, um, you know, correctly to make it run well. And uh, later on we might pull some heads off. Depends. Really depends on how much I love this rig. If I really love it, I'm going to pull heads. I, I've, I've heard heads cam and a tune will, will make wonders, so we're just... Uh, probably going to see how it all turns out. This motor is more than enough for what we're doing anyway right now. So if we can add horsepower, it'll just be that much more funner. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Quite the build, buddy. This is pretty incredible. And this took you about two years. So to yeah, get where we you're got at? it. Uh, what did we see that post was October or November? Uh, it was November. October this month, October, of 2017. Of so it's been two years, um, and I'm you know I'm a family man with you know a self-employed you know business owner um, with four kids. So I'm doing this in my home shop. This is here at my home shop, not my not my transmission shop, and we're doing this all on the part time. So um, yeah, it's drug out. My wife must love me. And you said, <laughs> I'm sure she does, brother. <laughs> you said you spray this with a special poly. Yeah, so this is all paint. steel it. Um, all, all these fabricators and builders out there that know, um, you know, have built rigs before, I'm sure. And I'm, you know, I consider myself more of a beginner than, than, than most. I learn a lot of this stuff as I go. But yeah, this stuff here is, you can weld through it. It's, it's uh, polyurethane based uh, spray paint in a rattle can. So we did the links, this, the tie rods in, uh, tie rod ends in the, in the silver, in their steel color, and then did the axles in the, uh, in the black. Hey, what's up weld, guys? You can weld right through that stuff. What's happening? Hey, can you say hi to Dustin? What's up kiddos? How are you guys? You ready for Halloween? Trick or treat, he's in here hiding probably. Wow, quite, quite the rig, Sean. I'm super impressed, and I'm sure everyone's gonna be impressed. I, the only downfall is when you do go to the desert and the hammers, you will have no time to hang out, enjoy yourself, because everyone and their mother's gonna be asking you about it, well, taking pictures, and, and before we it's gorgeous uh, rig. completely conclude this story, I'd like to actually add in, which I forgot to tell you, uh, Laser Star has joined the van wagon with this uh, scout and got us all the lights that we wanted for it. So oh, right I'll on. show you later if we decide to do another video um, all the lights that we decided to do. So we're going to do an overhead over the windshield uh, six inch light bar. Those are four inch, those are coming out the side. And we've got some rock lights, we've got um, a bunch of stuff, all the tubing clamps. But Laser Star in Paso Robles, California, um, Weekend Concepts is what they're calling themselves as well. But uh, Laser Star is the company that makes the lights. They're out of Paso Robles, California, and they're um, they're totally involved with this project. We'll have to see the show some video, of some lights on this okay. thing. It's going to look for crazy. sure. And then you also said you're going to put an iPad inside and yeah. just kind of custom mount it on the dash, yeah. and then control whatever you can with yeah. Bluetooth just Bluetooth control. and then all my navigation everything is going to be uh, whatever app I decide to download yeah. to run my GPS through we're going to run that uh, for our nav do you think you might ever turn this into an overlanding rig and put a rooftop tent or yes, just strictly absolutely. rock crawling no I definitely want because of my family size I want to take my at least my son um, and maybe my daughter whichever whoever wants to go I would definitely like to take well them I'll go and yeah, <laughs> or just me and you. <laughs> you know, we could do that. Um, but yeah, it'll definitely, this this is the perfect rig for that. It's not like it's a full-blown race yeah. truck. Um, it's no, just, it'll fit right it's just a trail rig. rig that we want to go have some fun with. But yeah, rooftop tent would definitely be on the list of things to do. Right on. Well, seriously, appreciate it. Yeah, right on. Thanks, Dustin. Awesome. So that's Sean with Gar's Transmission in Paso and uh, his sister Shannon. Give them a call, she'll answer the phone. 
and anything you guys need, they can pretty much take care of. And uh, dude, I can't wait to see this thing fully done. It's gonna be pretty epic. Wow. Thank you, Sean. You bet, buddy, thank you.